Today we're going to be testing out the cheapest basketball versus the most expensive basketball. First one is $5 and we're going all the way to $120 basketball. We're going to test out which one of these basketballs is truly worth the money. I will rate each basketball after testing out the grip, talking about the materials, and doing a shooting test and a dribble test. And let's get to it. Starting off with the $5 basketball, the grip is super cheap. It's not super grippy, I would say. Let me see if I can palm it. Oh, they're brand new basketball, so of course I can palm it. But after a couple wears, I feel like this grip is gonna be gone. You can see, I just bought this ball and the yeah. leather is already coming apart. There's paint. So bounce wise, it doesn't feel bad. It's a little bit uh, rough. It's definitely rough. It's not soft. It's definitely rubber. It's not leather. It smells like rubber, like a carnival basketball. Boy, if you don't. The ball handling felt actually good. I don't know if I just have the good handles or what, but the ball handling wasn't bad. Now let's go shoot it. I'm just gonna be shooting five shots and we'll see what happens. When it comes off my hand, it kind of scrapes my hand. That's how rough the ball is. Four out of five. So far, honestly, the basketball is not horrible. So with the price point at $5 for the and one ball, I think keeping it indoors and playing with it indoors, it would last a long time. Outdoors, it's gonna get ruined quickly. I'm gonna have to give it a five out of 10. Next up, we have the Indoor Outdoor Molta FIBA approved basketball. This one I actually got from Korea for $20. So it's not like the super nice quality one. It's uh, the cheaper lower end version. It's definitely rubber. The quality of it is a lot less rough than the AN1 ball. So definitely the same kind of material, but it's not as rough. Already missed two shots with this ball. Finally! Oh no. Two for five. I think it's the ball, honestly. Here's my theory. The N1 ball is brand new. That's why it was super rough. This ball is about a couple months old. And so already it's kind of slippery. So when I go to shoot, it slips out my hand. <laughs> Overall, I'd have to give this ball like a five out of 10. So we went from $5 to $20 and now we have jumped to $30. And $30, the ball is already feeling real like a real leather ball. It's got great grip. It feels super weird to dribble. It sounds different than the other two. And it feels different when you dribble. I don't know what it is. I'm not really liking this ball. It feels better than the last two. The way it's bouncing, doesn't it sound weird? It sounds weird to me. And it feels weird when it's coming off the ground. It feels like the rubber was loose and it was flexible. This feels stiff and like fake leather, maybe. I'm not sure. The grip is nice, so I'm expecting to make all five shots. Like I said, like I said, the grip is nice. I knew I was gonna make all five shots. Didn't slip out my hand. It felt super comfortable coming out of my hands. Ah, but the ball handling part of this ball felt weird. So with all of that and the price point of $30, I'd have to go with a six out of 10. I'm not sold with the way it bounces and the ball handling portion of it. I really wanna give it a lower score, but because of the grip is so nice, and the ball is actually nice. Um, and it feels good coming off your hand when you shoot. It made it go up a little bit. Now we're getting into the more expensive basketballs. Right here we have a Wilson Evolution. It's an indoor game ball. People do not play outside with this type of ball. It's super padded. It feels like real leather. The grip is nice. Sometimes it feels slick. It's a great basketball to have in your collection of basketballs. 
it's soft padding. It's durable, it'll last you a long time. The grip won't fade quickly, but it is $79.99. So let's see if it's worth it compared to the other balls. Oh no. Oh no. $80 ball and I can't make it. It's got dust on it. It's kind of slick. I'm not gonna lie. It's not feeling like that Jordan ball with all that shiny gloss for grip. Three for five. At the price point of $80, I'd have to give it a six out of 10. Now the padding, it's super soft. It's real leather. It's an indoor ball only. So if you're looking for something that's indoor only, this is the ball to go for. Next ball we have is the Dribble Up Basketball. This ball is $99.99. So you're looking at $100. This ball also comes with an app, a training app um, to get your ball handling right. You ha do have to pay for that monthly, but if you just wanted the ball by itself, it has a uh, great padding. It's not a cheap basketball whatsoever. It's leather, real leather, super padded, like the Wilson ball. This ball feels a little dense. Is that the right word I'm looking for? Like when I bounce it, it's not coming up quick. I think this ball is like made to help you dribble. So, you know, you do have to pound it a little bit harder but the grip is there. All right, let's try the shooting test. Oh no. All right, four for five. Um, I do like the ball. It's easy to grip. It is unique, it's yellow, it's bright, and it does still have the same quality of like an expensive basketball, but it looks like a cheap basketball. Like it has that fun feeling of a nice basketball. I do like that. For that, I'll give it a seven out of 10. If you're just using it for ball handling and not shooting, however, I'd give it a nine out of 10. Now, what everyone has all been waiting for, this is the Wilson Evo Next. This is the new college NCAA basketball that college athletes use. This is an indoor game ball only. You wouldn't want to use this ball outside. It's not slick like the Wilson Evolution is. It feels like super nice. The padding is there. Um, it's just not slick. It has a different type of grip on it. This ball is $120. It has a different sound so far in comparison to the other balls, but it comes up quick. It comes up quick, it's light. Hey, This is a good ball. This is a good ball. I can see why it's $120. All right, so we're four for five with this Wilson Evo next ball. <sighs> with everything in mind, that it's an indoor basketball only, the padding, the grip, the sound, the way it comes off the ground, the shooting, I'd have to give this ball at $120 an eight out of 10. Overall, it's by far the best ball amongst all of them. I can see why college athletes are using this ball um, it's a great ball. However, it is super expensive for people who are growing into the game. And so for that reason, I'm gonna pick one of these other balls that I would use when I'm just getting started in basketball. Which one would I pick? I'd have to go with the $20 basketball. This is a molten basketball. However, Wilson has the same ball as the same exact style. Um, they have the WNBA Wilson ball in this style, which is $25. Then they also have the regular Wilson balls um, for $25 as well. That is the same exact quality of the ball. And I would have to say this is gonna be the most long lasting ball you'll get. 
I'd go with the $20 basketball. You let me know down in the comment section which ball you have. Thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Love you fam. Peace. Hello. You see me